Hello, welcome to another tonalist landscape oil painting demonstration. This is your painter in residence, M. Francis McCarthy, and eight of the Past Master series. We are doing a uh, Georgian S study today. It's called Sunset at Milto, and I'm pretty sure that. The thing is, like the reference image for this painting, um, I haven't seen it around very much, but it was a square. But uh, there's somebody on uh, Pinterest that likes to crop Georgia Ness into squares. And uh, I just went with it because I wanted a few squares in the series. And so I'm sure his original painting is not a square. I've, I've never seen him do a square painting. Um, would have been pretty cool but I personally like square paintings and I like painting in that square format a lot um, oh I should say by the way I know it's a mouthful at the beginning tonalist landscape oil painting demonstration it's quite a quite a lot but um, YouTube actually tracks the introductory speech of the videos for when they are tagging things so um, not only do I have a tag that says that and that's in the title um, but they also pick up on the vo uh, the vocal the verbal so that's why I do that and uh, you know for years uh, if you in fact yeah for years all you got to do is go digging around in the bottom of my channel and it will say welcome to another tonalist painting uh, tonalist landscape painting with M. Francis McCarthy, blah blah blah. Um, or I would just say tonalist painting, but tonalism as a term is not as popular as people that are into tonalism might think. So, for that reason, I don't like uh, a lot of the reason I do this channel is just to promote tonalism uh, in my own little way, and it is, you know, pretty small. But, uh, which by the way, we just heard hit 50,000 views and that's I think a respectable number especially for a, a non video gaming uh, uh, video <laughs> although we we know there's uh, there's painters out there getting um, lots of hits and stuff and good on them that's good they're giving the people what they want I don't always give you what you want I give you what I want and uh, that's how it is that's how I roll that's what's going on but uh, there's, there are those of you that enjoy that and appreciate it, and uh, I appreciate you for appreciating it. So, anyway, getting back to George Ness, I don't believe the original of this was a square. It's a very simple little painting, though, and I really enjoyed doing it. Um, straight up simple sunset. So the, the real theme of the painting, of course, is the, the, the colors of the sunset, the orangey glow. And um, now we're getting to be quite a while ago I would have painted this study so oh at least eight months I'm reckoning so we're kind of watching it together for the first time uh, since I painted it I don't really remember if I um, did any glazing on it or not but just looking at it right now I would I would judge it to need a nice unifying glaze you can have all these little patches of color in fact sometimes you know if you watch me paint I'll do you know a patch of color and then a, uh, I'll paint in a patch of color next to it it's just very very little difference between the two and it seems significant to me when I'm painting it but uh, when I look back I go hmm but those little things those little differences are what add up to good paintings you can't just trowel the paint on like you were a house painter you've got to uh, use discrimination um, and it's especially important with large areas of you know what appear to be one color um, what I always teach my students is you know, never never paint that as one color you know don't get the paint roller out oh sorry um, it's Saturday here I hear quite a bit of noise outside I think the neighbors are God knows what they're doing probably something they put off doing for a long while and they're finally getting around to it um, sunny day today here mostly sunny in New Zealand and the heat's back and uh, the cicadas are out making their little uh, cricky noise and um, we're in full-on summer right now which is lovely it's nice by the way lovely is not a word most Americans use but I hang out with all these my wife's British and um, originally British now she's a Kiwi and a lot of Kiwis use the word lovely too there's a big 
influence of the British culture here. So I've learned a lot about the British culture just from living in New Zealand, things I never would have picked up as an American. And there's a few a few Britishisms that I've picked up. You know, someone calling someone mate. That's nice. Why not? Yeah, hey mate. Here you go, mate. Or uh, something like the word lovely. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's not a very, not a very masculine word, but uh, it's a nice word. It's nice. I, if you're calling something lovely, you're not being an ass. You know, you're being nice. Um, so, uh, what's going on? Let's see. Saturday, I'm home for lunch. I was in the studio this morning. I didn't do a whole heck of a lot other than uh, um, put a board up on the easel. I think I'm going to do a little square 5x5 five five this afternoon. I'm, I, I've been doing board prep all week. And... Um, I've got a series of these uh, New Zealand beach scenes I want to do, and I'd actually prep some 10 by 14s, but I really I had a success with the uh, the first 8 by 12 I did, and it was the first 8 by 12 I'd done in years. And um, 8 by 12 is interesting; it's the same format as photos come out of my camera. It's it's slightly panoramic, and uh, it's not full on panoramic, but it's it's quite panoramic compared to many other dimensions. Uh, um, and it's uh, it's an interesting size, and I have painted it. Uh, uh, what's the other one? 12 by 18, I think, is uh, is the same proportions. Um, way back when, I prefer 12 by 16 these days. But uh, anyway, I had some 10 by 14s prepped to do the larger paintings, and uh, I was just thinking, no, I really, I don't. For these prints, they're not going to be that big. I want to be able to make a uh, some little flicky strokes with uh, just a, a swipe of the wrist. And ah, uh, there I am. I'm glazing. I knew it. I saw it coming. You can see how that pulls everything together. What a remarkable invention glazing is. Especially, you know, you can uh, you would think, well, it was you know tied together pretty nice before, but you can see how the glazing. Uh, just socked it all in. And also, the glazing had looked like it had a little bit of a, an opaqueish quality to it, so uh, it gives me a chance to restate the darks as well and um, sort of add a layer of uh, sort of dark. You know, that would be difficult to paint in sort of dark and have it read as sort of dark. So um, after I hit things with the glaze, I can restate the darks and uh, have a little more depth and. Um, yeah, who knows how Ines did it. In fact, I wish, I wish I, I haven't seen that many. I've seen a few original Inesses, and they weren't his best works. But I would love to go to uh, to some of the museums back on the East Coast that have um, some really uh, nice uh, George Ines paintings, and just spend you know several days studying the master's work with my nose a few inches away from the uh, canvas. That would be absolutely great. But Unfortunately, I'm thousands and thousands of miles away from there, so we just have to make do with uh, photos of paintings, which are not the same thing as a painting. Anyway, we're getting kind of close to the end here. Uh, I'll be putting this up on my blog on my website, and if you haven't been checking out the blog on my website, you should, because first of all, there's going to be a higher res uh, version of this painting there and also uh, some zoom ins so you can see the uh, a very interesting fracture of the brushwork and uh, that's something I think I do well and it's not something that's uh, like you know consciously I'm thinking oh I must get this fractured you know it's just a byproduct of the way I paint but uh, I, I do think I get a nice interlace of brush strokes so hop on over to landscapepainter.co.nz check out the blog check out the store and uh what else well, i don't know what else is there but check it all out anyway we'll see you again real soon meanwhile please take good care and stay out of trouble